I'm gonna make a bold statement. I think that Vlad's house, the giant vampire mansion in The Sims 4, I think that one is the weirdest house in the game. So today I'm gonna be brave and make an attempt to fix it. Also, we got sponsored, so shout out to Word Farm Adventure for sponsoring this video. What you are about to see may shock you, so don't say I didn't warn you, okay? See, even he's scared. Look, <laughs> even he knows. Yeah, that's how I feel too, Vlad, looking at this. Yeah. Yeah. This is the house I'm referring to. Honestly, it being stormy feels very fitting. Nothing about this home makes sense, okay? There's random bump outs, there's glitches, there's this part, <laughs> whatever this is. It's shaped kind of weirdly. I don't know, J everything involved in this is really, really odd, especially the exterior. Like, I'm down for a spooky, scary vampire mansion. I'm not so down for what it looks like right now, though, so today I want to try and fix it and restore this home to its former glory. We're gonna give it the justice it deserves and try and fix this mess. But first I want to talk to you a little bit about our sponsor Word Farm Adventure. It's available now on Android and iOS and you can download it for free with the link in the description of this video. This is a really unique game. I am big into word puzzle games. My grandma and I play them together all the time. And with this one you can solve crossword puzzles, complete word scrabble missions, all from your phone. There's a bunch of levels to choose from and as you level up you can rebuild different areas like the farm and the villa. One of my favorites is the county fair levels. I'm working on rebuilding the villa right now and so as you level up you can make choices on how to decorate everything, which, as you know, is right up my alley. And then obviously as you level up, you get more tasks to complete and then you can keep restoring the villa to its former glory. See, I wanted to brighten it up, so I picked the pink flowers for the outside and I painted the building yellow. I just thought it looked so cute like this. And like I said, you know I love to design and decorate things, and then you combine that with like the word puzzle aspect. This game is just fun. It's really fun. There's a ton of cool stuff on the inside too, like there's trains. I think the kitchen was my favorite to design though. So here's my finished product of my villa in game. I'm really curious to see what all of you do with yours. So if you're up for a challenge, you can download Word Farm Adventure for free now on iOS and Android with the link in the video description. So we're going to be trying to restore and rebuild an old building too, but I think ours is a bit um, more of a mess than the one in the app, but it's okay, we can manage. And I just want to be clear that I did not cry during the recording of this video. Okay, we have a guest. And our guest is gone. So for this house, I wanted to renovate the lot using just base game and vampires, because I figured if you have the vampires pack, I want to make it possible for you to use the renovation. <laughs> so I only used the base game and the vampires pack to fix this house. And the first thing that I did was go around and make it like significantly smaller. This is always what I do in these houses. I think that sometimes these big scary builds are just too big and not in like a, I need to make it half the size kind of way, just in a like, there's a lot of weird parts that are or like off to the side and weird corners and angles that I just feel like would be better if it was all flat. So at the end of the day, I actually added an entire third floor based on how I roofed it. So it actually is bigger now, my version. It just doesn't look much bigger, but I think it's better this way. I think it makes more sense. It looks more like a real mansion. So I think we kind of made it work. And I just deleted all those random like diagonal bits that were like poking off the sides. I was trying to make it just more straight and like more grand looking, I guess, if that makes sense. I also changed the whole roofing on the outside, all of the windows, obviously, and I tried to keep that same vibe while also just making it a little bit better. <laughs> I just wanted it to be cleaner. Does that make sense? And it didn't really take me as long as I thought it would. I've definitely renovated this house before, but sometimes it takes me like six hours to renovate, and that's just not okay. But that's the nature of Vlad's house. Something about it is just so weird. <laughs> There's just so many weird little parts around the back. Like, it's a very odd thing to try and build. But I think the way that I did it managed to make it look a lot better. And also, the way I made it smaller just makes it make more sense. Like, it's seems like less of a odd building. Like, it just feels more realistic, and I guess that's the end game, right? It ends up still being only two bedrooms. I didn't actually furnish the third floor in my finished version, because I didn't want to change the whole layout of the house. Like, I kind of wanted the house to be the same as it always was, just ever so slightly improved, right? So, I kept most of the layout. All the kitchen and dining rooms are still in the same place. There's actually an extra, like, reception type room now. Before, there was, like, one giant living room, but I kind of split it into two, and one's, like, a, a music room ball room type of space, which feels appropriate for a house like this. And I had some fun decorating too, because obviously Vlad's a vampire, right? So I put curtains in front of every window, like no light can get in. I kept the kitchen the way it was, because in the original house, the kitchen's like all cobwebby and dusty, and there's no lights on in there, because obviously he's a vampire, he doesn't cook. <laughs> so I tried to keep some of those little cute aspects to the build, while also just improving it ever so slightly. So I think it turned out pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. 
I also wanted to keep that big like overhang above the living room and stuff so there were a lot of parts that I really didn't like how they were shaped. I think it was just the shape of the house. Like there were so many weird diagonal corner bits so I kind of like flattened it all out <laughs> just made it make a little bit more sense and then it looks a lot better in the finished product but i wanted to keep like the overhang and the balconies and i wanted vlad to have his fancy big bedroom like i still wanted to have all of those things i just i wanted to execute them ever so slightly better i don't know who built this house i don't want to mock them too much but like you know i it just doesn't make sense I did a build video recently where I tried to build this house, but smaller. I've been making these videos where I try and shrink EA builds, like the land grab house, but tiny. And it's actually really fun to do, but it really makes you realize just how odd some of these buildings are. Like trying to recreate the shape of this building, it makes you think like, what on earth were they doing with the layout of this house? Like, it doesn't make any sense. There's all these random diagonal walls. Like, oh, it was just so weird, but it was really fun to do. So I'll link that down below for you if you want to check it out. And I will of course also link my Twitch channel down below because I stream every single day on Twitch and I do a lot of things like this. So if you want to watch me struggle to renovate Vlad's house live next time, twitch.tv forward slash Lil Simsy. I'll be there. Although I might not be there next week. <laughs> I'll be there this week though. Quick life update, Dan, my boyfriend, is moving from the UK to the US in a couple of weeks, so I have a lot going on right now. I have a lot to do. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you probably know that we applied for a visa, like back in February of 2020. We finally have that visa, and so we can finally come, but you know, we still have a lot going on. It's not like the visa process is over, you know, so that's happening, and I'm actually going there this weekend so I can help him pack and then come back with him, so I just have a lot going on. <laughs> I've gotta like, prep everything. I have to get all my stuff for my flight ready. The idea of flying right now is very scary to me. I have to get like negative COVID tests, obviously. Once I get there, I have to quarantine the whole time and like get COVID tests while I'm there. So I've got everything booked and ready. I just, am, <laughs> I'm just nervous. <laughs> So it'll be good though, and I'll help him pack, and then we can come back, and everything will be fine and over and easy, but I don't know. I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. I think that's usual though. Like, I'm usually at like this level of overwhelmed. Right now we're like a little bit higher, but it's nothing new. We're always anxious. At least we got something to be anxious about this time, you know? Honestly, Vlad's house isn't helping. I swear, I keep doing these builds that cause me pain. <laughs> like... This build wasn't fun for me to renovate. I don't know why I even bothered. Like, it genuinely was not fun. It was just stressful. Because it's so hard to make it look good. Like, it's so oddly shaped that it's genuinely just hard to make this house, like, work. Because it takes so much reworking of the floor plan to make it seem like it makes sense, you know? So it was definitely not easy to renovate. <laughs> so I'm sitting here talking about how I'm so stressed out, and then I go and pursue Vlad's mansion. Of all the things you could renovate, you pick Vlad's mansion, Kayla? Like, come on. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of vampires in The Sims. I always haven't been. I never was big into occult Sims, like even in the older Sims games. Like, I never really played with like werewolves or vampires or, or anything in The Sims 3 either. And in The Sims 4, like, I don't think they're bad. Like, I think the vampire's world is cool. I think the storyline is cool. I think the vampires themselves are very well made and detailed. I'm just not really interested in playing with vampires for the most part, you know? Like, my average Sims gameplay doesn't have a vampire in it. Like, I like to build and decorate houses, and I, I like to play my little families and stuff, but I don't really want Vlad to come over to my house and, like, break in and try and kill me by biting my neck, you know? And Vlad has a tendency to do that. He shows up every day. You start a new save, oh, Vlad's there, and he's like, ooh, what a lovely neck you have there, and then he comes into your house and wakes you in your sleep and then bites you in the neck, like, come on, it's just rude. <laughs> so, like, I, I like vampires because they're really well made, I just don't like them interrupting me as often as they do, you know? Although, admittedly, the build stuff in this pack is really good, and I'm always into that kind of thing. Like, the, the new kitchen set that came with this, all of the, like, flooring and wallpapers are super cool. There's, like, some really nice, like, gothic Victorian beds. Like, there's a coffin or two, you know? <laughs> there's some, there's some pretty nice build things in this pack. So, I mean, it's not the pack that's bad, it's just Vlad that's bad. Bad, bad, bad Vlad. That's all. Okay, but you'll see the original house had like a big long entry hallway, which I kept because it makes sense. And then off to the side, there was a dining room. There was a kitchen, which was like closed off and dark and <laughs> had just a door into it because obviously Vlad does not make much use of that kitchen now. There also was like a very formal living room space that was huge and open with like an organ and a piano. Like they had all kinds of stuff there. And so I kind of split that space into two. And then I wanted to have a door off the dining room into the kitchen. I wanted the kitchen 
imagine to be like off to the side and like covered in cobwebs and obviously not very used because you know the vampire drinks blood he doesn't eat cereal so he doesn't need to go in there <laughs> so I wanted to kind of keep that storyline to it and so I closed it off and then in that bigger room the like new music room area I kind of put like a stage for a piano because I figured like this big fancy house with this big fancy old vampire, he's been having really nice gatherings for vampires in this home for years probably, you know? So I managed to get like a little stage room for a piano and like what I figured could be like a dancing area. Because in an old house like this, they probably would have a big like event space, you know? Which seems odd thinking about now, given COVID. <laughs> like the idea of having a ballroom, I mean, absurd. But this kind of house would have a thing like that. So we kind of have two big living room areas. One that just has a fireplace and like some seating and the other one has more music entertaining stuff. I kept the stairs into the basement because that's where like Vlad's coffin is. <laughs> so he has kind of a secret basement down there and then he's got like a couple coffins and then his fancy one. So I kept the secret staircase into the basement. I put a bookcase door into it, which I felt was very appropriate. Like I wanted it to be kind of hidden. So there's like a bar and some bookshelves and an inconspicuous smaller bookshelf that happens to be a secret door into the secret basement. There is absolutely nothing to see in there, okay? Nothing to see, just ignore it. Don't worry about it. But I wanted to keep that for like the storyline of it, you know? Because obviously Vlad's got a secret vampire basement. I mean, why wouldn't he? Oh my god, it is storming. <laughs> Do you hear that thunder? Okay. Well, it, honestly, it feels appropriate for this house. Super dark and scary outside, dark and scary inside. It was storming in my game when I started recording, so maybe, maybe I've like channeled it somehow, I don't know. Honestly, the juxtaposition here of like compared to that word for adventure house I showed you, the difference here is kind of hilarious. Anyway, I kind of made the inside a bit ugly. Like I will admit that to you wholeheartedly. I'll stand up and say, yes, I know it looks a bit bad, but that's because the furniture is all so like patterned, like the patterned wallpaper, the patterned car carpets, the patterned curtains, like it's all so bold. And then obviously I tried to make it like very black and red and bold because that's what Vlad's style was. So I wanted to keep some of the original vibes of the house because that was what we were going for. I just tried to make it a bit brighter. Like it was really dark in here before and I put more lights. Like it's still just the spooky scary candle type things that came with the pack, but I wanted it to be a little bit brighter, just not in the kitchen. I wanted the kitchen to be dark because no one goes in there. <laughs> I wanted the kitchen to look so abandoned, like again with the cobwebs everywhere, like it's functional, it's got a stove, it's got a fridge, it's got a sink, but like nobody comes in here and no one's been in here in like 50 years probably. I put a fireplace because I figured it's an old house, like fireplaces everywhere make sense, and I just kind of rearranged how it was. I think the kitchen is probably the most similar room out of all of the house rooms. A lot of the things I changed a lot, but the kitchen kind of has the exact same vibes as before. Pretty much the same cabinets as well, like I didn't really touch much in here. To be honest, this pack has some really nice cabinets, all things considered. Like, <laughs> considering it's a vampire pack and like vampires don't even cook, it's kind of cool that they added some really nice cabinets in the vampire pack, you know? Like, I'm, I'm very much into that idea. They're actually just the base game cabinets, but recolored with a different countertop, but that's okay. I will take anything they can give me, <laughs> and these cabinets are nice. There's a black and white one, there's like a, a white cabinet with a black countertop, there's a red and black one, like a red wood cabinet with a black countertop, and then there's like a mint and cream one. So it's kind of like a, a darker green color cabinet with like a creamy granite countertop, and I think it looks really nice. Like, those are some of the best cabinets in the game. It's weird that they're from this pack. <laughs> and they have matching upper cabinets as well. A lot of times, like, Realm of Magic, for example, only came with the, the bottom counters and not the upper cabinets, but this one has both. So I'm just saying. But you can see we're getting kind of close to the end of the build here. I'm just messing around in Vlad's room. The rooms up here were a bit odd. Like I tried to keep the original style of them and I, I wanted to keep some of the original vibes. Obviously they both had their own ensuite bathrooms and stuff I wanted to keep. Upstairs, the, the bathrooms are actually bigger, but the bedrooms are a little bit smaller. But I think that's okay. I also kind of swapped it around. There used to be a third bathroom um, that no longer exists. So, <laughs> I figured it was okay to lose that one though. I mean, only Vlad lives here. 
So does he really need three bathrooms? No. Do vampires even pee in The Sims? I don't even think they have a bladder need. So what's the point? <laughs> do, do they really need that? But Vlad's room now is really fancy. He's actually got like a separate sitting area. He's got his bedroom. He's got a separate balcony area that looks over the living room. Like I gave Vlad a really nice layout of his room. Like it's properly like a primary suite on this house. Which makes sense, again, considering the style of it, it makes sense to have a really nice suite upstairs for Vlad. And that's pretty much the whole house. So if you'll recall, this is what it used to look like. Please take note of the exterior, okay? I need you to acknowledge the drastic changes on the exterior. Look at this. What was this? Also, I was right, vampires don't pee. <laughs> They've got a thirst need, a hygiene need, and an energy need, but they don't pee. That's really weird, isn't it? Anyway, this was the house before. You see, it was just odd. Like, everything about it was super odd. And then, when I finished it, it looks more like this. Which, in my opinion, is an improvement. And a drastic improvement. <laughs> Hang on, let me make it not raining, because then it'll look better. <laughs> Give me a second. I just made it sunny. That's not gonna be good for Vlad, is it? <laughs> wow, look at the drastic difference! But see, the outside just looks so much more like a proper mansion, as opposed to, like, a mess. Oh my god, what happened on the gallery that glitched the ceiling away? Oh, <laughs> well, there, there was a ceiling there. I don't know what happened. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um... <laughs> the back makes more sense as well. I think, again, it's just a little bit cleaner, right? So when you first come inside the house, there's still a nice big long hallway with some gargoyles. <laughs> and then there's three archways into the three separate living spaces. There's one into the dining room. You've got one into the living room, and it's kind of like a living room study. You know, it's got like some seating, it's got the bookshelves. This door is the secret door that takes you into the basement. I tried to make it blend in with the bigger bookshelves too, but they're actually different colors. They don't have the same swatch for some reason. Isn't that weird? And then through the dining room, you can get into the kitchen. Obviously, it's very dark and covered in spider webs. Uh, it has a dead bird. Lovely. Then this room is like that formal area I was talking about where it's got some space to dance and it's got an organ, it's got the piano. Everything you might possibly need in here. These are actually fake curtains. There's no window there but um, they look nice. And then upstairs, we've got another big just open hallway like before, but now there's two bedrooms, the one purple one. It has really tall ceilings actually, look at that. And then there's a purple bathroom. And then in Vlad's room, he's got like a formal sitting area. He's got his bedroom. Um, this is his closet. I put a stuffed bat in there. I like to think that Vlad is a really big baby at heart and he likes to play with toys still, but he needs to appear very brave and strong and scary because he's like the master vampire. So um, his best friend hangs out in here in secret. And then he has his own bathroom, and then he still has this, like, kind of fancy balcony area he had before. This was part of the original house, and I kind of wanted to keep it, so we've got that there. And then back downstairs, this area is pretty much the same as it was. I didn't really touch it. It felt appropriate to me, so I kind of kept it, although I did put platforms. I liked the idea of there being some, like, variation in height in the floor, so instead of it all being one height, I put the different coffins up on platforms. And I think it looks pretty nice. Well, maybe nice is the wrong word. It looks like a vampire's secret underground lair, is what it looks like. And that, my friends, is the entire house renovation. I've got it on the gallery if you want to download it. And of course, there's also a link down below to download Word Farm Adventure if you're interested. It's available right now for free on iOS and Android, so thank you again to them for sponsoring this video because, look, some of us have got flights to pay for, and they're not cheap. So with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I swear, my favorite thing to do in this game is to renovate. I know that you all know this, but I just love to redecorate and redo the houses in this game. Something about it is just so much fun for me.